Hello friends, today I will discuss the another laser that is semiconductor laser. The construction of a semiconductor laser. Introduction Before discussing the construction and working of a semiconductor laser, let us review the semiconductors as it will be necessary for you to write the basics of semiconductors in case of exams. A semiconductor is a material whose conductivity lies between those of conductor and insulator. Semiconductors are of two types, intrinsic semiconductors or pure semiconductors, extrinsic semiconductors or doped semiconductors. Extrinsic semiconductors are further classified into two types depending upon the type of majority carriers. N-type semiconductors where electrons are majority carriers, P-type semiconductors where holes are majority carriers. When a P-type semiconductor and N-type semiconductor is joined by special techniques, there will be flow of electrons from N side to P side and flow of holes from P side to N side. After some time, an electric field will be created which will oppose this flow and flow stops. Thus, there will be formation of depletion region. This region is called so because it is depleted from charge carriers. I will discuss more about semiconductors in my another video lecture. This is just the introduction. This is just the outline of the semiconductors. Construction of a semiconductor uh, to achieve laser. Active medium. The active medium uh, is gallium arsenide. Sorry, this is in gallium arsenide is written wrong. The active medium is gallium arsenide. It is one of the lasers to produce uh, this is one of the medium to produce semiconductor laser but it is also commonly said that depletion region is the active medium in semiconductor laser the thickness of depletion layer is usually very small 0.1 micrometer so this is the construction diagram you can see here that this is a p type semiconductor this is n type semiconductor this is a, a power supply then these wires are connected through metal contact. This is partially polished phase. Uh, this is from here we will get the laser output and from the partially partially polished phase will act as the optical resonator system. Pumping source. Forward biasing is used as a pumping source. The PN junction is made forward biased that is P side is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and N side to the negative. Under the influence of forward bias electric field, conduction electrons will inject it from N side into junction area, while holes will enter will the junction from the P side. Thus there will again be recombination of holes and electrons in depletion region and thus depletion region becomes thinner. This working is the same as a normal semiconductor. Except that in semiconductor laser, these are very, very heavily doped. Optical resonator system, the two faces of semiconductor which are perpendicular to junction plane make a resonant cavity. The top and bottom faces of diode which are parallel to junction plane are metallized so as to make external connections like here, like this side. Okay, the front and back faces are roughen to suppress the oscillations in unwanted direction okay so here the back side will be the metal contacts the front and at this side this back side this is what this is the downside this will be roughen to suppress the oscillation, oscillations in unwanted directions example of semiconductor laser one of the examples of semiconductor lasers is gallium arsenide it is a heavily doped semiconductor its N region is formed by heavily doping with tellurium in concentration of 3 to 10 to power 18 to 5 to 10 to power, 10 to power 18 atoms per centimeter cube. While its P region is formed by doping with zinc in concentration around 10 to power 19 atoms per centimeter cube. So this is the construction part. I will discuss the working part in my next lecture. That's very important. So for further reference, please search our website venuscience.com. Please subscribe and like our channel. If you want laser ebook, please email venuscience at gmail.com. Thank you. Thanks a lot.